Well, it's time to order your thin mints and dosy doughs from the Girl Scouts, but like everything else during the pandemic, the way Girl Scout cookies are being sold this year has changed. But it's a change that's providing a great learning opportunity for the girls and their families. Howard Dushevsky has more. So, you can place here how many cookies you want. One, two, three. So that's going to be $615. Um, Eight-year-old Malia Biter is developing her skills as an entrepreneur, something she's already proven to be successful at. After all, she got former President Barack Obama to visit her lemonade stand. A wonderful year. I'll see you next year, and I'll come back and get some more lemonade. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 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 Bye-bye. Thank you. Her next challenge may be a bit more difficult, however, selling Girl Scout cookies during the pandemic, but she's already nailed her sales pitch. Why, hello there. It's Girl Scout cookie season. Me and my troop are, are going to donate all that money you use to buy the cookies to charity and also use it for some activities. Bye. Last year, the Girl Scouts had just started selling their cookies when the pandemic hit. This year, they've had enough time to prepare and develop new and creative game plans. Well, that's part of the whole entrepreneurship program is to have them learn how to market different strategies, different challenges. And, and boy, they've got their challenges this year. Challenging for some maybe, but not for Malia and the rest of her Brownie Troop 835, they are ready to rock. Well, they can choose like if they want it delivered to them directly, or they can have um, oh, shipped to them directly, or they can have me deliver it to them to their house. Large deliveries of the cookies will still be made to Aloha Stadium, but Chang says the pickup process will be streamlined. Yes, a little bit different setup than we normally have because it will be drive through, station by station, cookie by cookie, um, so there's less personal contact. Chang also says a smaller number of Girl Scouts will still be positioned in front of a few select grocery stores and shopping malls, but the big push, she says, this year will be online. We have a national partnership with Grubhub that's going to allow cookies to be ordered and delivered directly to the people via Grubhub. The girls will still work behind the scenes prepping the orders and getting everything ready, hand it off to the Grubhub driver who will then uh, actually take the, the delivery to the people. And something else new this year, you can buy cookies to be delivered straight to charities or maybe those who played a critical role on the front lines of the pandemic. We're very excited for her sales. She's learning how to sell cookies through the digital cookie website. She's learning how to manage her sales. And she's learning about the donations to charity through Girl Scouts Hawaii. So here you can choose to have the cookie shipped to you. Orders are already being taken at gshawaii.org with cookies set to arrive in the islands on February 18th. Howard Dashevsky, KHON2 News, working for cookies and Hawaii.